Soledad Jana Kostakos, and I'm a National Business Development Manager here at ASX. Anastasia, could you start by telling us what is an ETF? It's a really good question. It stands for Exchange Traded Fund, and it offers investors a convenient and cost-effective way to get exposure to a range of asset classes and other investment strategies. As we can see from the slides here, you have a portfolio of assets all in one trade. You can gain exposure to markets. They may be difficult to access if you were trying to do it on your own. As we've already said, it's cost effective and there are a range of different investment styles. So in one single trade, an investor can buy an ETF that holds all the top 200 companies listed on the ASX. So when you're watching the news and you hear the ASX 200 did this or it did that, you can buy units in the ASX 200. You can access other key asset classes, such as international equities, fixed income, or you can add specific sectors to your portfolio, such as property, technology stocks, or gain exposure to commodities such as gold and oil. So an ETF is an open-ended fund traded on the market, and that's what you need to know. So why would I buy an ETF? You don't have to be a beginner to buy an ETF. A range of different investors buy ETFs sophisticated investors buy ETFs, but it is a really good way to get into the market because you don't have to be a stock specific expert. You just have to have a particular view on the market, geography, maybe a theme or a sector. And what ETFs also do, they offer you diversification. And what is that? It helps to decrease your overall risk in your portfolio per dollar invested. So, the traditional ETPs, like the ones we've discussed that track the index, like ASX 200 or the ASX 300 or the S&P 500, means they're not trying to outperform the market. So by buying into one of these ETFs, you're not going to do worse than the market, but you're not going to do better than the market. You are just going to achieve market return. So for somebody that's just looking to gain exposure and they don't know which way to go, it's a great way to start off. But what ETFs also do is they generally have lower operating costs than other professionally managed funds. And Anastasia, how many ETFs are there? And could you please perhaps give us a few examples? Right now, there are 222 ETFs on the ASX, which is a huge number to choose from. Usual ETFs, like the ones we've discussed, track an entire market. There are some more niche ones and they show just how unique ETFs can be. And that includes Asian markets or emerging market ETFs, healthcare ETFs, esports and video gaming ETFs, cloud computing, battery tech and lithium. So there are a wide range of strategies, geographies, sectors that you can choose from in order to get into the ETF space. So finally, Anastasia, could you talk us through the process of actually buying an ETF? All you basically need is an internet connection and $500. You'll have to set up an account if you don't already have one online with an online broker, such as a NAB trade, CMC Markets, Bell Direct or Comsec, just to name a few. And you can purchase in an, e an ETF this way, the way you would a normal equity, like a BHP or a Rio. If you think you might need a little bit of help finding the right investments, at ASX, we've set up a tool where you can find an advisor near you. So we've got the slide up for that right now. If you'd like to learn more about ETFs or any other listed product for that matter, you can head straight to the ASX website where we have a range of different investment tools and just general information that you can learn from.